Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel. So one of our uh, subscribers or uh, YouTube subscribers has asked me that how we can uh, restrict this call. So for example, if I go to the details page, I am making a API call here to getting the single post details. But here they are asking that you already have the details of the post details here. So why there is why 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 there is need to call it again here? So you already have the post details. Why can't you parse over those post details and get that post details single post here and you can show it right? So if the user refreshes here, then you there is there will be no post details. You can get the post details from the API. But if if the user doesn't refresh this one, the page, then you already have the list of all the post details and you can parse over those post details and get the single post. They have asked me. Yeah, we can do this one also. So how to do this one? So they asked they asked me the thing. So yeah, we can we can get the details. For example, see here I am calling all the time the server hits. So I am unnecessarily if I have the data also I am unnecessarily making the server hits. So server button also it will be taking place. So in order to minimize this one, so we can change the code until unless if the if the I don't I I don't have the post present in my store, then I need to call the API. So we can implement this one. So our YouTube subscribers has asked me to implement that scenario so that they will understand very easily. Yeah, okay. So now here, if you go here, this is the get single post. Here is the place where we will be always calling the post service. So here, what we can do is now here, if we have the post already present in our store, so then there is no need to call this post service, right? So there will be no need. So now we need to get the post. Where we can get the post? We can get the post from the store so let's inject the store here so now here private okay store of type store let's inject the store of type app state right so now this one is the thing now here if i go into the get single post here if i if you see the get single post here i need to i got the id okay i got the id and I need to check whether the first the post is present or not. If the post is present, then no need to no need to call this service. Already the post is present, the component will take care of this thing. So what I need to do here? So now what I need to do is here we have a RxJS operator that with the latest from. So it will take the it will get the latest data. So from where I need to get this dot store dot select of get post. Right, this is the get post. So it will sorry, it will get the details. Get post, it will get the post. So now how we can get here is so here we will be getting a array of data that is nothing but the post here. Okay. ID comma post. Now here so with latest from what it will do is so it will call the store dot select until and unless if, if we get the data so from this observable, then switch map will go and here it will it will send you that post details. Now here what I can do if not of post dot length if the post data is not present okay then only you need to call this data or otherwise what we need to do we need to leave it but we need to somehow we need to send a action we need to somehow we need to send the action so in the else part we need to send the action so how we can send that action so for example if you try to see here if I try to refresh we are able to get the data if I go back side okay if I click on the I am getting the post details nothing is there if I click on the details okay we are able to get the details but here we are able to see one error that you provided undefined where a stream was expected so it is expecting an observable so this create effect is ex ex always expects an observable but you are not providing the observable why because the post data is present it is expecting observable what we can do here now uh, one thing what we can do is so let's go to the auth actions and let's create a one dummy action okay dummy action so all the people what they will be doing is they will be creating one action so this action doesn't do anything so just to call we will be using this one okay so dummy action and this action doesn't do anything so in the reducer there will be no implementation of the logic for this action now what i can do here i can go for the post fx and here i can return off so off means it will gen it will create an observable 
and here I will be using this dummy action and I can send this dummy action okay so this is the representation now how can I do off off we need to import it here okay off we imported and the dummy action right now if you try to see the output now we will be not able to get the error now I will be calling the here I didn't get any error and here also we didn't get any error if I click on the details dummy action is not defined okay so you need to Im import it so here dummy action we imported it okay now we will be able to get the output so now if you try to see here back to get post and if I try to refresh this one now it's not a problem and if you get details not a problem and if you try to so now right now we are not getting any console errors if you go to the network now if we try to see the post so now we are calling the ajax call we are getting all the list of posts and I click on the details see i am not calling anything i am not calling anything if i go back to the post and if i click on details so this post.json so back side we are getting and here i am not calling anything if i click on again back to the post again we are calling post.json and we are getting the data here also we can increase the performance same thing so what we can do is instead of calling all the time get post if you don't have the post just call the thing so no here app state okay so now if you don't have the post something like uh, this is the load post right now here also you can do something like with latest from of this dot store dot get post let get the post sorry select of get post okay so now this one will give an observable and here you will be having an array of action comma post data you will be having the action comma post okay now here what i can do if not of post dot length okay so if i am having post dot length so here you can use it directly like this okay and another one what we can do is return dummy action sorry of of dummy dummy action so we can use it like this okay now if you try to see here i will be doing the refresh okay so i am doing the refresh sorry and inspect the element now if in the network so i am if i am doing the uh, if i am doing the if i do the ref refresh so we will be able to get the data so i will be calling the api call to get the data fine if i click on the details i am not calling anything if i go back to the post i am not calling again if i click on details i am not calling if i click on details i am not getting right so now this one is working fine so performance issue we have increased if i refresh here i will be getting the data again i will be calling to the server i will be getting the data but now here we have one bug what is the bug is for example see here before uh, so whether to call the post api or not it will check whether the post is present in the data in the in the store or not if it is present means it will not call the api if it is not present means it will call the api for example if i go to the details so it will check that post is present or not yes post data is present in the store so i didn't refresh the page so post data is present in the store it will not call the post api it will take the data single post from the post post details now if i try to refresh it here okay now what it is trying to do so post data is not present in the store so it is calling the single post api and it is getting the data okay it is getting the data so now if i go back to the post okay so now in the store one post is present okay why because we are adding this post into the post uh, post details so if i go back to the post you will be able to see only one post detail here why because in that get details we are already calling the data and we are storing that one post in the post details so if you go 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 back here in the post in the post list it is thinking that oh already data is present so i need to show the data but here the data is present more than one if i try to refresh here you will be getting the two post details right so there is one bug so what we need to do the implementation this depends on purely logic you can keep a flag and you can ch check that one you can keep a flag and you can check here or otherwise here instead of getting the single post you can get all the posts so here if you instead of getting the single post you can get all the posts and you can store it directly or otherwise what we can do is for example here what we can do one method lg what we can do is 
get post so there is no need to of that one so you can call this get post and you can take this all post data okay so here you will be having all the post and you can send this post directly right sorry you can send this post directly so this is one method how we can implement and this this is one method so now if you try to refresh okay so now if i try to refresh this page we are able to get the data if i go back to the post we are able to get here if i if i refresh here we will be able to get the data okay and if i click on details i will be able to get the data here i am not calling anything if i refresh i will be able to get the complete post details i am getting and if i go back i'll be able to get this is one type of representation or another type of representation what we can do so we should we instead of calling all the post data so what is another representation what we can do is here in the load post only what we can do is we can check another condition that post dot length is equal to is equal to one okay this this scenario also we can check it why i am checking this one so here if you go here in the post i am calling the api here this purely depends on the requirement so here i am calling the api if i go on, go into details i am not calling the api as i have the post now i am trying to refresh here okay if i try to refresh here so i will be having the post data okay i am having the post data so single post only i am having so when going back to the post so in the store you know that it is only the single post is present so in order for the safety so we have written a condition such that if the post dot if the nothing post is present or at least single post is present maybe you can assume that okay it, the single post maybe came from the create uh, so, sorry uh, details uh, details of the post so we can think like that and we can call the post dot json for the friend for the for the benefit of uh, doubt nature okay so in this way we can increase the performance so this is how we can increase the performance by using the with latest from this one so this is how we can we can restrict the server api calls if you have already the data in the store okay some people what they will try to do is instead of using this router navigation so they will be using the resolver so using the resolver they will be used to get the from navigating from one page to another page so using the resolver they will be getting the data so one and the same this is this is this is one type of implementation that is another implementation here we have made use of the router store ngrx router store and we design the data okay design the structure if you are not using ngrx router store you can use the resolver card and using that resolver you can you, you can get the data before navigating into the route okay that's completely depends on your requirements and they completely depends on your logic okay so if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.